Amazon is the tried and true way of shopping for anything you need or want at the lowest prices. Support the channel at no cost to you by doing your Amazon shopping through the link in the video description. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Paragon version 44.6 patch notes. It's looking really good as we have Paragon Winterfest here. The season of giving, it's the most generate event of the year and you will get skins, you will get banners, you will get things guaranteed if you play for free for a certain amount each day. So earn three Winterfest chests each week. E every week of Winterfest, earn a chest after playing 1, 7, and 15 games every week. So every week, there's there's three weeks, you can get these, so what is that? That's three times, that's nine chests. Nine chests, um, and the 20, 20th game every week will earn you a skin guaranteed. So Every Winterfest chest contains one of the 12 items below at random. Just 15 games per week will earn all of the Winterfest chest items. So we have Everfrost Quang, Everfrost Bellica. So pseudo like Game of Thrones zombie thing. Awesome. I love it. Everfrost Sereth, Old Saint Richter skin. I already have that. I already have the uh, the, the Kalari and Iggy Scorch skins. We have Yuletide Fang Mao skin. Um, and then three banners, three really sick banners, Northern Mystic, Morgesh, Frozen Hearth, Aurora, Frozen Frost King Revenant banner, and the Aurora Sword Sculpture emote. If you haven't seen it, it's actually really quite good. Um, our, the art team really did a great job with that. Every 20 games earns an elite skin. So there's that 20th game that you can get Northern Mystic, Morgesh, Frozen Hearth, Aurora, and Frost, Frost King Revenant. You can also, of course, at the end of, um, in the fourth week, you can buy any of these, any of these, including the bundle. So you can earn a mystery prize or purchase all three skins. So it's very generous. You don't have to pay a thing for any of these things. You just play. You play and you can get, the, you will guaranteed get these skins along with the mystery prize. I'm not sure exactly what that is. And of course, Terra is here, ladies and gentlemen. A fearless and unyielding warrior, warrior Terra charges into battle and fights for justice. Upon hearing news that her adopted father had been killed, Terra set out on a new quest to hunt down the evil creature known as Countess and end her reign of terror. Of course, Countess killed her father. I'm pretty, pretty sure about that now. So, I mean, really, Countess, you done goofed. You done goofed. And of course, look at this wonderful winter winter map for Monolith. It looks absolutely phenomenal. Um, guys, this is the third map that the art team has made in the past, what, couple months? I mean, they didn't make the previous version of Monolith like in the last few months, but guys, well, no, wait, no, 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 no. The visual update, like the true visual update the Halloween map, and the winter map. Three maps, guys, that they have been working on for well, seemingly for the past while. They do a ton of work. And just look at how absolutely gorgeous all of this is. Absolutely gorgeous. So huge shout out to the art team. It's the, They do a lot of work, guys. They really do do a lot of work. Now, this is a little confusing to me. Saving Winterfest. Was the night before Winterfest, Narbish has a tale to tell. Narbash knows that Winterfest isn't a time for war, so why would his tribe listen? All his attempts to keep the peace end in disaster, but Narbash won't give up. Join him as he braves the snowy plains of Zechen, meets strange new friends, and discovers a special talent. What is this? What is this? Maybe I'll say in the in the in the patch notes here. Is it an emote? Is it a skin? Is it some lore? We will find out. So guys, I'm so happy for this balance pass because it's as actually, it's good. It's solid. It's a um, hopefully, goodbye t goodbye tank brawler meta. But I mean, let's face it probably not so again this is just the written stuff um for 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 the the winter fest the first week is mr mystic morgesh uh frozen hearth aurora frost king revenant and then the golden key is i i guess that um that secret special thing whatever that is so there you go guaranteed no duplicates again you will get absolutely everything and then there's that winter fest uh bundle where you can purchase everything um probably for a nice you know, um, 
Yeah, discount. So, Countess, she's gotten a little buff. And you know what? After playing Countess uh, for a little bit, she really needs um, just a wee little bit. So what they did, give her a little bit more health, a little bit more base regen, health per level increased, and health regen as well. Just a wee little bit. I, I, her execution, um, it felt okay, but she just kind of felt nah. So in the early game, that's going to hopefully help quite a bit. Like, she was poked out of lane ridiculously early ridiculously fast so maybe, maybe that will help her and i do agree with that for sure howitzer got a little bit of a buff little bit this is either make it or break it in in my opinion the range has been increased 200 extra units and you know what a lot of the times i felt like i should be able to poke with that missile and it just didn't go that far so maybe that 200 unit range is exactly the tweak that he needs although in my opinion I really love the idea uh, of a medium range mage for howitzer where his missile does goes like maybe 1400 units but like massive damage his slow grenades and his mine are just the, the animations are like maybe sped up and they're more fluent to use so he's just medium range high damage control burst you down and then his and then his make it rain has just kind of fundamentally changed where um, you know, you press his ultimate, missiles start raining down around him, he starts making this blaring air horn sound, and then, af and then at the end of his ultimate, then he fires up and confirms the placement of that last missile. That way you could keep the damage of the same, because it's more reliable, and, you know, then it it's just much more reliable. Uh, but they m increased his damage quite a bit. Quite a bit, about ten, almost 10% in the early game. And then, what is that, 20%, 15% uh, in the late game. So that is pretty significant, and the scaling has been increased too. So he's going to deal good damage with that ultimate. If you can combine Howitzer and Decker, for example, whew, he's going to really, really hurt. Alien Scorch, just a little bit of tweaking. Same with Kalari. Uh, the person that you target with her ultimate will now hear a more obvious audio cue alert, which makes sense. Kwong, finally nerfed. My goodness, Kwong man, he I really dislike Kwong. I have no idea why they buffed him, to be honest with you. But defense buff duration decreased from 5 seconds to 3 seconds. Much more sensible. Much more sensible. Basically, you could click it at any time and you would just get that buff forever and there was no thing. But 3 seconds, that is now. Okay, I gotta use it now because... I'm going to be um, either dial dealing that burst or benefiting from that uh, defense. So Fury of the Heavens, damage also reduced just because he does way too much damage. So absolutely 100% agree with this. Kwong, I don't know why they buffed him in the first place. Really glad to see that happen. But like a little bit of a polished bug. More Gash. She kind of seemed a little odd. Like she's not super meta, but like the cooldown on her swarm again, yeah, was like was it was eight seconds and i started to notice especially in viewer games last week you just couldn't do anything like you just boo swarm away boo swarm towards you boo swarm like it was just like swarm 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 and i was like my goodness maybe we, we i was going up against a good more yes but like holy smokes and the movement speeds bonus yes should help in the early game maybe you have to be a little bit more careful is that what the laning phase naturally is in the late game, then you start to rely on that uh, to, 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 to be, to actually do something. So I really, really uh, appreciate that. That so It's a tweak. It'll just kind of help her be a little bit less easy to use, which is um, maybe she is definitely being an already easy hero by design. A little bit, little bit more focused. Murdoch, they made a little boo-boo in here. This is, um, this is exactly the same stuff from the last time he when he got his um when he got his tweak so there's no reason why this should be here in here that was a little boo-boo on their part um he's the same murdoch is the same he wasn't touched at all rampage boulder throw increased from 10 seconds to 14 seconds a hundred and ten thousand percent it was way too often 14 seconds hopefully enables you to use it at the start of an engagement and then maybe if it's a super long engagement then you can confirm the kill on um you know in the team fight in in the skirmish if it's a really long skirmish to solidify an, a uh, an advantage 10 seconds in my experience with rampage he used that way too freaking much 
Um, you know, he would use that at the beginning, and then he would use it during the, like, right in the middle of, of a team fight. And no. So 14 seconds. Really glad about that. General balance, way too tanky. So, little wee bit of a nerf in that direction. He's about regen, not necessarily about tank, since he has all of his burst damage and just a lot of damage now and, and and utility so really glad about that revenant he's pretty dumb he's pretty dumb so scar cooldown increased i played a, uh, a, a game as revenant um it was against bots even and even there i noticed that his scar cooldown was it was like it was you just throw it out all the freaking time get the slow from it bonus damage so that was really silly eight seconds i like that much more mana cost as well didn't have mana issues unless you're using your obliterate a ton, which you don't want to. And slow magnitude just from 10, 10% scaling up throughout the throughout the late game, which is good because he's already meant to snowball with his ultimate, which has also been reduced. Um, you could you could punish Revenant a ton, and he would still just skyrocket in economy, um, even just using his ultimate a few times. It's kind of silly. So uh, really glad to see that for Revenant. Severog, 10 to 20% nerf, love it, especially on a Siphon, his, his, his good damage ability that he can use, what, every three seconds? Damage decreased 20% 20, uh, 20 in the early game, and then, like, kind of 10%-ish in the late game. Really, really like that. I mean, it's only 10% when you're talking about a ton of Siphon stacks, so, I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but it will really help, plus the mana cost. You could literally spam the Snot out, out of this ability. He's kind of meant to, but a little too much. I do agree with this. Tanks, brawlers, they gotta be nerfed. And you know what? I'm really, really happy that uh, that we've seen this. Base health decreased as well. Again, he was monstrously, monstrously tanky. Um, and base health regen as well has been decreased. The issue with it is, yeah, he's maybe supposed to be, be tanky, but remember, he has a dash, he has a root, he has a knockback, and he has consistent damage with Siphon um, and, and his basic attack, which is much more fluid now. So he's all... he. he Yes, he's supposed to be tanky, it's just he's way too generally powerful and mobile and stuff like that. So got to keep that, that in mind. This nerf, I really like it. Shinbi... Just a little, he received a camera shake when she hits a target with circle rhythm. Not supposed, you're not supposed to get the sh camera shake at all when, when you're not hit, so there you go. M m minor animation improvements. Sparrow, steal! He has been nerfed as well. Little bit of damage decrease in the late game for a shield bash. Just way too consistent, and the scaling decreased as well. Did a lot of damage, and it was really, really, um, really consistent. So, the Blade of Arbor recharge duration increased from 6543 to 8765. I always thought the Blade of Armor was a little too fast. The 3 seconds in the late game. Um like yeah, if you know, you got to like commit an entire team's ability to finally take down steel and then even then he would get 3 seconds uh, of that of those armor ch charges back. This may be more appropriate. I mean, five seconds does seem like a long time. So 20 seconds to get all the stacks back. But that is, you know, the time to his next to to uh, to a, a, another skirmish that you that you disengage from, and that makes much more sense rather than five like four of his stacks in the time of a um, of a team fight. So I really like this change. He's really strong. Steel's really strong. Hopefully, this just helps tone him back a little bit. Here is Tara. She is wonderful. We'll do a whole video about her. Go check that out. Should be up in the next little while. Wraith. Basic attack damage per level increased from 3.1 to 4.2 and attack speed per level increased from 1.5 to 2. I dislike this so much, I'm not even going to talk about it. He's not a carry. I don't want him to be a carry. I hate it. Don't do it, please. Don't do it, please. No. 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 Wukong. A uh, little, little, little visual improvement. Okay, fine. I'll talk about it. Wraith. Way too much utility. He has vision. He has back it up. He has a cloak, for Pete's sakes. He has a long-range snipe. How is that a... That's not... That's a, like an ability damage carry, sure, but get rid of his move, back it up, get rid of his cloak, get rid of his vision if you want an ability damage carry. But then if it's ability damage carry, why are you buffing his basic attack? 
What is going on? Why? This is carry level of basic attack damage. It isn't quite carry level of attack speed per level, but I know. No. 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 <laughs> uh, cards and gems. We have Death Crawler. Reduced attack speed from penalty from 50 to 30. Reduced the critical hit bonus damage of 250 to 200. Death Crawler math is a bit tricky you have to go in scenarios and or you could average out things out but that makes it really hard so that math will come in 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 this in this week look out for that i just anticipate it'll it may average itself out to be to the to the exact same uh dps as before but you weren't looking for dps with D, with death crawler is kind of whole point so uh just want to see you know 50 percent it's not too much when you talk about 200%, but, I mean, it is 25% nerf, so we'll have to see what that means. Uh, you know, is it not going to be totally ubiquitous with Revenant now? You know, Kalari, maybe she could use this a little bit and get a little bit more DPS out of it instead of just a one big hit and then has suffer from the DPS department. So we're going to have to see. White War Virus now correctly targets enemies who are revealed in the Shadow Plane. There's a lot of weird Shadow Plane business going on. Um... As, as well as uh, Sprike in. Spell Shield now correctly blocks cards, card abilities. I always thought that was really silly that it didn't. It really 100% should have. I'm glad that that is there now. A few little things. Visual layout has been changed and improved in the play tab. The co-op and uh, and solo versus AI have been merged into a single play mode option that allows you to choose between human bots or allies. So you can just choose your allies, choose your enemies, and then that's either co-op or solo. So that, that, does, that does make a lot of sense special event quest progress will be tracked on the play tab so you can see when you're playing what's going on Bo boost information now appears above the play button so when you have when you have boost instead of way in the top right and uh there you go monolith a section of the wall above river buffs will now glow the color of the buff that has spawned below it i've always wanted that uh they had it in the first version of monolith I'm pretty sure um the little icons around would glow and then the pad would glow but that wasn't in there in in, in the ver in the vi newest ver visual update really glad that's there because i would go there and i'm like i have no idea what i have no idea what buff was just there and if the enemy you know is stealthed or not i have no idea so that is really really important or prime visual buff visual effects added to new minions fixing uh i didn't really notice that i guess um you just know that the minions are buffed when they have or prime and map made map ping sound right channel only so you can hear it on your right speaker so that because your map is in the upper right hand side that makes a lot of sense and loot crates you guys can check that out as well so there is the update guys let me know what you think um i love it hopefully we see a little less power a little best little bit of nonsense uh removed from rampage steel uh you know kwong all of this stuff i really hope i really hope we see less of them uh grex is actually fine grex feels really good he he he, he does his thing but i mean it's just the just kwong especially kwong rampage Sevrog, steel it's uh, i'm really happy about that winterfest looks fantastic um, let me know, you guys, what you think. Patreon allows creators to offer their fans a way of supporting them and what they do. With flexible and painless payment options, anyone can support their creator for as little as $1 a month. If you would like to help me do what I love, check out the link in the video description to learn more. Please like this video, like it, dislike it, dislike it, share it the community. Of course, guys, subscribe if you guys like this content, especially if you found it useful. Subscribe so I can do it for you in the future. Check the video description for links to my website, merch the store, Amazon affiliate link, as well as all my social media here. Huge shout out to all my Patreons. Thank you so much for supporting me, doing what I love, as well as my YouTube sponsors and Twitch subscribers. All going out of their way to make these videos possible. Until next time, like always, guys, stay optimistic and positive.